friends today i'm going to solve lit code problem number 242 valid anagram in this problem we are given two strings t and s and we need to return true if t is an anagram of s else we are going to return a false so what does it mean by an anagram so if t is an anagram of s that would mean that if we rearrange all the characters in the word t we would get the word s and similarly uh, anagram is um, kind of like if t is an anagram of s that would mean that s is also an anagram of t so both it applies both the ways so how could we know if a string is an anagram of s, of another string so let's look at this example here so we have the string s and the string t um so um how would you know these two strings once arranged would be the anagram of each other so what are we going to do is um let's just start sorting the, the two strings so if we sort the, both of the strings all the characters would be if both of them are anagram would must be in the same occurrence right and the resulting strings would be equal so let's um, sort this string so a when we sort as we get a first right because a should become a should come first because it's the smallest character and then a and then what do we get after that we get a g after that right and then so we have our a's we have our z now the remaining are n r and m so m comes before n and n comes before r so now we got a sorted correct string from s now let's do the same with the string t so once we sort these we have a's right so three a's comes at the beginning and then we get a g and then we have an M as well and then we have an N and a R so these are the two sorted strings that we get now once we have received our sorted string we compare these two strings. are these two strings equal well yeah they look equal right so they are equal so that would mean that these two strings are anagram and return true so this is one way we could solve this problem that is by sorting both of the strings so the time complexity for this solution would be o of n log of n because um sorting takes o of n time complexity o of n log of n time complexity and the space complexity that we used for this is constant because we are not uh, taking any extra space we are just sorting it in place so um, is there a way we could solve this in o of n time complexity well yes of course there is a way we could solve this in o of n time complexity but um, we would need an extra space for that so let's see how we could solve this problem in o of n time complexity so we are given these two strings and we know for the anagram to form each of the characters are if rearranged should give this string right so what should be the case for us to uh, get this string string t from string s basically all the characters that are present in string t should be present in string s and no more than that right which means the number of a's in string s should be equal to number of a's in string b string t number of n in string s should be equal to number of n in string t so that would mean that we need to find the frequency of each of the characters in string s and that should be equal to the frequency of characters in string t so that's what we are going to do so we will find the frequency of each of the characters in string s so frequency of a in string s is equals to 3 frequency of character g is equals to 1 frequency of n is equals to 1 frequency of r is equals to 1 and frequency of m is equals to 1 in string s 
so we found the frequencies and all of these frequencies will be saved in a map now next for string t what are we going to do is we subtract the frequency fro from from uh, this map so once we have a character n so what we do is we reduce the frequency by one so now the frequency of n is equals to zero next we have uh, and a so we reduce it by one and now we have the value two next we found a character g we reduce it by one now we have a zero here as well um, next we again found an a so minus one would give us a one and then again we have an r so we do a minus one again so this results in a zero again and then again we found an a so doing a minus one now gives us a zero and then we found an m so we do a minus one again and we found the value zero so none of these values um, are below zero right none of these values are negative so that means that the frequency of s and t the characters in both of these have the same frequency and hence we found our anagram that is both of them are anagram now let's suppose if in string t we have a character n that is extra so we have one more character n and one less character a so that would result in something like um, there would be only um, the remaining frequency of a becomes equals to one because the, we only have two characters so one is left from here and what happens to the frequency of n well we have one more n right so while we subtract the value from this we get a minus one so since we found a minus one here that means that the frequency of n doesn't match with the frequency of character n here so that is when we return a false and um before we do all of these things we are going to check the base case that is for these two strings to be an anagram well uh, those should be of equal length so we check the length of the both of these two strings and then we perform our calculation and also there could be a case let's say this is um a character b all right so we do not have a character b here but we have found one right so what happens is now we will be searching for the character b in our map and try to reduce the frequency but there is no character b in our map because we do not have the character b in string s so in that case also we are going to return a false so when do we return a false we return a false if we do not find a character uh, the frequency of the character um, characters in t in the map or if the frequency of the character is um, less than zero that is if it gets negative so let's now solve our problem using this approach that it would be o of n time complexity and also talking about the space complexity it will be a constant space complexity because um what is the maximum number of characters that we have in english um dictionary well that is 26 right so there will only be 26 um characters and 26 instances in the map so that would still be a constant value so now let's write our code so first of all we are going to check the length if the length is not equal that would definitely mean that these two are not an anagram okay so if the length is not equal we return of false and next what we do is now we create our map and then check uh, the value of the map so before that for let all the characters of string s um, if we do not have the map for c okay let's do it this way so map of c would be equals to map of c or zero plus one so now we formed our map 
or string as now for all the characters in C we are going to check if um, the frequencies match so um, if map of C um, so we are going to check if uh, the case if we do not find the character in the map or if the value of map is already equals to zero so that would actually result in a negative value so we return a false else we just keep on reducing the value of the map and finally we return a true that would mean that we both of them are an anagram let's run our code great let's submit our code and awesome